Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. If you know me from my ASMR YouTube, which I'm assuming a lot of you do, then you'll recognize this background from most of my role plays. Um, it's really simplified right now because I am getting ready to move soon, but I thought it was too cute to not bring onto this channel. I really like this little setup I have. But for today's video, I wanted to do a healthy habits we're bringing into 2024, we're starting in 2024, that type of thing, just because last year I did start a few habits that really helped me that I wanted to share with you all. And already in the new year, I've started a couple things that have helped me just be more productive, more energized, happier overall. So I thought I would share them with you guys so we can have a happy, healthy, and productive 2024. Of course, if you have tips of your own, then be sure to leave them in the comments to help all of us out. But the first big one is waking up and going to bed. I think that this has the most importance on our health, but also just our like mental health and how we interact and our overall feeling for the day. For me, I am not a morning person at all, and this really affects how I work during the day. Um, my eating habits because if I sleep in that I don't have breakfast and I'll wait until dinner which also isn't good for your metabolism and just energy in general. I personally want to wake up earlier in the morning like last year I was waking up at like 1 p.m sometimes which is just not okay in my opinion. For me I wanted to be waking up earlier and then I was um, creating unhealthy habits because I was waking up late I would order food late at night it was unhealthy food and it was just contributing to my ED and whatnot. So um, around the end of last year, I'd say like October, I started doing this really simple thing, which was just sleeping with my curtains open. So when I would go to bed, I would open them so that in the morning, the sun or just even the light from the clouds would wake me up. And that made a huge difference. I would wake up always around 8 a.m., Sometimes I've had a, I'd have a bit of a sleep in, wake up around nine, but I would always wake up at a decent hour, you know, for me, based on my previous patterns, without needing an alarm clock. And that was huge for me. You know, I do recognize that not having a set wake up time is a luxury. Um, I completely understand that. But just as a on the weekends, or if you're someone who maybe works night shifts or something, or works later, like evenings, like four to 10, or I'm not sure, um, then try just sleeping with the curtains open if you can, if you're on the top floor or something, because it is huge waking up with the sun. And that is how our bodies are supposed to wake up. I read that somewhere sometimes. Big thing for me, a big motivator in getting up in the morning is having my porridge. I love porridge. I got this from my boyfriend, I never used to like porridge until he would have it every day and then I just started having it every day and now I love it. I'll have fresh fruits in it, I'll have nuts in it for some protein and healthy fats. And a big thing in the morning is making sure you are getting protein because that is going to start your day really well. Whether it's a protein shake, if you aren't vegan, like eggs and bacon or you know eggs and a meat, um, or if you are vegan, having some nuts or even like, I know the Beyond Meat stuff isn't great for you, but if that's easier for you, then you can do that. Tofus, um, they have a ton of vegan substitutes now that are a bit easier and that is really going to set you up for the day. You want to make sure you're having that protein to give you that boost of energy and it's also just really going to help with your metabolism and everything throughout the day. I noticed a really big difference when I have just like a plain bagel with butter versus a proper bowl of porridge with nuts and fruits and you know a nice like 100% maple syrup you know I just it's more filling you get more nutrients as opposed to like Captain Crunch or something well I do love that now another way that you can get this boost of energy whether it's at the beginning of the day or a midday pick me up which is how I usually like it is through magic mind okay so they offer these boost of energy shots and they are amazing. I've been having them for about a week and a half now. You can see my box is already half empty. First and foremost, can we get an appreciation for the packaging, especially with my name being Ocean? Like, how adorable. I wanna keep this box to gift it to someone, it's so cute. 
So here is what the little bottles look like and they are productivity shots, okay? So energy shots, productivity shots, however they work for you. For me, I find that they're a bit of both. I only film every day from about 9 30 to 4 p.m and i find that around 1 p.m i get a midday slump you know no matter if i'm having a big breakfast full of protein and whatnot around 1 p.m i just want to take a big nap and the thing that keeps me going are these magic mind productivity shots after i take one i definitely do feel more awake more energized what's funny is that when I was first taking them, I <laughs> took them like later at night and then I would be up working so late, which I don't normally do as much anymore because I told you guys I'm trying to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. And I was like, why do I have all this energy at night? Like, why am I working so much at night? Because I broke this habit, like what's going on? And it was because of this, because they really do make you more productive and in the zone. And so that's why I take them around 1 p.m. And by 2, I am good to go. I've got another two, three hours of filming in me. And then I call my boyfriend. So we've got lots of energy from this. It is like a shot. And inside you have the nootropics, the matcha adaptogens, and vitamins. There's also lion's mane and cordyceps mushrooms to boost your clarity and focus as well. In terms of the taste, I will say that it is a little bit of a strong like green juice taste however i'm not someone who could ever do like the ginger shots or something i hate the taste of ginger and this is not bad at all to drink like we can have one now i mean it is 10 40 but we can start the day with a nice productivity shot this january magic mind wants to help all of you crush your 2024 goals fully focused they're giving you one month free when you sign up for three months on their website but this is only for the end of january so be sure to get it before February, okay? And you can also get 20% off using my code OCEANA20. This makes it 75% off. Have the link and coupon code in this description for you guys as well. There's no harm in trying it. You also get a 60 day money back guarantee. So now that we've talked about productivity, energy, all of that, let's also wind it down a bit and talk about some self care. This is a big one that I need to remember going into the new year because last year I really overworked myself at certain points during the year. Um, I would literally go 10 days without leaving my apartment, just filming straight, and it was definitely unhealthy. So you really wanna make sure that you're pri prioritizing self-care, whether that be, you know, putting more money aside to go get that massage or go get a facial, you know, just spending more money on yourself rather than maybe other people if you're a big giver. I'm a big gift giver. And the amount of times I've been like, you know, what would happen if I spent the same amount on myself, you know? So whether it be that or just doing more budget friendly things like getting a better night's sleep, taking a warm bath with some nice bubbles or something, eating some delicious food, like some comfort food, that's self-care as well. Um, talking to family members, that can be self-care. Remembering to call those around you who love you and you love, that'll cheer you up watching your favorite series on the weekend, things like that, that are budget friendly and are really just heartwarming and, you know, self-care, stepping away from the computer, leaving work at work if you can, or if you're like me and work from home, leaving work maybe in a separate room, like an office or the kitchen or something and trying to step away from that and making sure that you're prioritizing time for yourself and just for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're the most important and you don't want to burn yourself out, okay? Like you will get burnout so fast and 2024 is not the year for burnout. A big one going into the new year is always exercising, creating healthy habits around exercising. But just remember at the end of the day, you're worth so much more than a number. The scale is not representative of how beautiful you are. So do not let that defeat you, of course. Um, I am someone who would always be myself and definitely getting away from that. It's just not healthy for mental health. And I'm working out just to make myself feel happier. I last year was feeling so stiff all the time. I honestly felt like a grandma and I was like, I shouldn't feel like this at 22. This is ridiculous. So for me working out, I'm trying to make it fun. Um, and that can be done by maybe taking classes if you can, like setting a budget aside for classes. Like I love Pilates. It makes me so happy. And I would much prefer doing Pilates than going and paying for a gym membership where I get bad in gym anxiety, you know? Luckily for my new apartment, it does have a gym, um, but it's like 
usually always empty. I've toured the apartment a few times now and there's like no one in there. So that makes me feel good about that. So I can set money aside for classes, like I said, Pilates or ballet, you know, maybe picking up a sport that you used to love when you were younger. Um, I know a lot of people will do like house league baseball or house league soccer or something. And it can be like, I don't know, like a whole mix, 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds. And it's just nice to get out there, make friends too. It's a great way to make friends. Um, I definitely would want to play like a house league soccer. However, I just am between too many places right now. So I can't because I'm between this apartment, my mom's house, my other apartment, my boyfriend's place in the UK. It's just too much going on right now. But eventually in my life, I do want to pick up soccer again. The last thing I want to finish this video off with is just making sure that you are asking for help when you need to, okay? It can be really hard to ask for help and I have been there last year. You guys know that I really struggled with my ED and even though I'm still struggling with it, I still have days where I relapse and whatnot. Um, I have a really good support system around me now between my parents, my friends, and my partner. They are aware of the situation and so they can help me and I can talk to them um, about things that I'm going through. Whereas last year I held it in for so long and was so scared to ask for help um, and I left it to a point where it was just starting to get really scary. So I know it can be really, really hard to take that step, but I encourage you to ask for help whenever you need it, whether that be just help on an assignment from a professor, help on a project from a classmate because you're not sure about something, or whether that's help you know, on a more maybe profound level and getting a therapist or talking to your parents about getting a therapist, you know, whatever it may be, just making sure that you're reaching out. Remember that you, you're loved. I'm proud of you. Okay. Um, we're all in this together. <laughs> 2024 might be hard. There might be some challenges, but we can overcome them together and it is okay to ask for help. It does not make you any more weak and it does not make you any more less than than any of the rest of us we all need help and it's okay to ask for help i just want to end the video with that um i just want to preface this with the fact that i'm not a motivational speaker i'm not a psychologist not a nutritionist not any of those things i am just a 22 year old gal trying to share some of my healthy habits tips and tricks that have helped me um go at the end of last year and going into the new year and hopefully to help all of you as well. But of course, I don't know everything. I don't even know half of everything. So be sure to leave ideas in the comments that have helped you as well and you think could be beneficial for all of us. And once again, be sure to check out Magic Line and that deal that they have going on for January. It ends at the end of January. So be sure to use my code OCEANA20 to get 20% off. And yeah, be sure to check them out. I'll have the link in the description box. Okay, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.